Hello, this presentation is to show you through a little bit of the functionality and um, a little bit of uh, show you a little bit of screenshots of Supo's tablet manager. Supo's tablet manager is another field tool um, for the on-site personnel. Now it's available for clients that have Supo mobile management approaches. The tablet version is as you see here, very similar to the PDA style version. The current mobile manager and the tablet manager have been designed so that if you've got supervisors that know how to use the current mobile manager, then they'll find it very simple and easy to move across to the current tablet, tablet manager. So the left hand side of the screen is very much the home screen from the mobile PDA device. The right hand side of the screen, we've uh, split the screen through to take advantage of the larger real estate that the, the uh, tablet or network screen sizes you know, give us. This right hand screen is configurable by its client, so you can have access to things like your internet sites, links to to uh, OHS or quality control systems, links to, to your document management systems, etc. Is fully synchronized, so it works exactly the same as mobile, mobile manager. So you, you don't always have to be connected. You can be out and about in the field, hit synchronize, it will pick up the phone connection and synchronize as this one just has. So all the functionality here jobs, compliance, supply messages, synchronization, all exactly the same as you see in mobile manager. I find them right the same too. So I click on jobs and the right hand screen becomes a record screen. So the right hand screen becomes a list of your jobs. <coughs> so you can store and scroll and you know, exactly as you see fit. Click on the house, takes you to the call sheet. And the call sheets it works exactly the same in, well as as my manager. So you've got your past name, supplier, what it was called, plan start, actual start date, completion date, estimated date, and baseline date. So when you pull up a task, I'll do exactly as I did before. You can either click on the task name or you can click on the question mark. Mobile manager, so you can now tell who's doing the work that you want it to start. All the tabs across here are the same as well, so you've got your new task if there is any delivery, any additional delivery instructions specific to the site. There's the standard at the bottom there. Notes, purchase order references, requisitions, and discussions if there is any. The additional functionality you've got with Quick Home Tablet Manager here is now in order to hit details next to the supplier and it'll tell you what else I've got this supplier working on at this current time. This is stuff that I'll schedule, but you can also do a schedule and a sign. So it's a sign in the call sheet, but I haven't called up yet. So here's an example of the call date is blank. From 31217, 745, I'm called back then. Arrows at the top, you can click back to the screens that you've gone through. So I'm starting in my phone screen, I don't want to jog these. I'll flip to my call sheet, flip to the schedule details, all the way down to the supply details screen. And if I close any of the screens, the active screen becomes the right hand side of my neck. So I can quickly and easily go, okay, that's fine, schedule that task, that task will now be scheduled. It shut the schedule screen down, so now the call sheet becomes active to the screen on the right hand side. Uh, oh, I want to complete the task, there's numerous ways I can do it. So I can say, like complete, give it a date, started, date, and completed, like complete. Or oh, if it allows me, I can mark complete today. And if you have one 
find the complaint is for what is complained or disappear from a court of view. That's just a way to minimize the number of fast and pursuit of items. Have to look through. The wizard is still here. The active task, so I can say when things start, when things complete, across the multiple time. But to see if I've got any checklist that has to be filled out before I can mark this complete, it's a little bit easier to spot now because I've got a question mark, uh, sorry, a plus sign next, next to them. Is the site this tidy? Yes, it is. Started today, finished today, one check complete. So. And as in previous reasons, when I say that completion update, any of the 100% gets taken away because it's no longer active on site. I can say that it's 50% done there. Say completion now. Schedule works exactly the same way as before. I can tick, 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 tick. And then I'll bring those four things up in the schedule detail screen for each, each one of them. Now, additional functionality, if I hit the home, it takes me back to the home screen. Um, there's a couple of other things that uh, you can do in Tablet Manager that uh, you can't do with the PDA version, Mobile Manager. To click on the job number, you go to access to documents, which just takes advantage of, again, the larger real estate, the larger screen size so you can start to look at. In this example, I've got color, color selection and final plans. If I click on here, it will bring up the final plan. I'm going to do exactly the same for the color selections as well, obviously. Um, if you're supposed to do any of the tasks, you can add notes. Uh, if you've got an attached keyboard, perhaps, to the tablet, or if you don't, you've got um, handwriting recognition software with the tablet that works very well. So when you edit task notes, Good home tablet manager. In a nutshell, it works very similarly to click on mobile manager in the fact that we've done it on purpose to reduce the amount of training required for your supervisors that currently use mobile manager. Uh, it takes advantage of the larger screen size. You've got documents, you've got the ability to see the details of what you schedule suppliers for across your jobs. Um, thank you for your time.